What's up, y'all? It's Timmy. And today, I'm going to do all kinds of random stuff and take you along for the ride, so let's get to it. Welcome to Truck House Live, baby. Swedish should have done flesh mount lighting like that. They've got the like the old just ugly RV lights. Like That's the what you white, have? Yeah, white plastic ones. Uh, yeah, I got in hindsight. I really don't love Amazon, but I uh, I really went all out on Amazon. What'd you make of the windows? Like all plexiglass? Just cut them out? Yeah. Yeah, I mean you can get those octagon windows, they've got her like freaking thirty bucks. Really? Cheap. Yeah. How long did it take you to build it? Mm, I was working full time at the same time, so it, it was kind of drawn out. I think I did it over the course of like six months. Oh, nice. But yeah, it's, you steal like an hour here. Yep, hour there. totally. Did you put, uh, you beef up the leaf springs or anything or not? Yeah, like at least? Yeah, it's about sick. Oh, yeah, there they are. When I first, uh, when I first, uh, threw it on there. And it's slightly better now, but it's, it's still got a little bit. Yeah, this little truck's probably like, what, 1,800 pounds or something like that? Yeah. Or close. Well, and then also you got the bike. Well, it it's pretty cool. This is the first other wooden camper I've seen up here. And he built. Pretty rad. Got some wood bending skills. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to write your comment. Speaking of paddling, if you yourself or any of your friends want to get out onto Six Mile Creek and do some whitewater rafting, it is an awesome creek. And I would recommend a company uh, called Flow AK. They just started doing rafting. These are all basically the best raft guides that have been down here forever. They all got together in the last year or so and formed their own raft guide company and they're right there in Hope. And they are legit, y'all. Lots of really awesome guides running this company. And they've been doing it forever, super experienced. Um, yeah, they're called Flow AK. And there's the phone number if you want to call those guys up or shoot them an email to get more information. And uh, yeah, it's legit. It's a pretty good deal too. Yeah, I would highly recommend going with these guys if you're gonna do Six Mile Creek. Awesome group of folks and they'll show you a good time. So just throwing it out there. Gerard <laughs> says it sleeps three. Where'd you guys sleep at in least, here? At least you put three. Three. Where did it come with? Oh, that? yeah, you get a full size bed and then nothing. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. Did you put that fan in there? there? <laughs> Sprinter. Good morning, everybody. I am just outside of Hope, Alaska at a, I'm going to call it a secret camping spot, but it's not. It's pretty well known. I just happened to get lucky and there's no one here this morning. So I stopped to eat some breakfast that I just picked up from the Creek Bend in Hope. I need to test out my live music PA system that I basically am going to be bringing on this road trip and setting up open mics in different places throughout the western United States. So it should be pretty fun. Might even set an open mic up at uh, Overland Expo West. So I need to set all that up today and test it out. So 
Let me get this breakfast in my belly and we'll get to it. So basically everything you see in that picket fence is stuff that's going on the road trip. The car is essentially packed minus my clothes. So this is about what it's gonna look like. Uh, when I get down to Oregon, I'm taking that picket fence thing off. I'll dismantle it and keep the wood. And I'm putting aluminum storage boxes in its place. They're like double door ones. So I'll have a ton of storage on both sides of the car. And uh, yeah, you know, what you're seeing there is just like my shower and the gas can for the generator, propane for the shower. And uh, I brought the camper jacks and some saw horses so I can remove the camper and do some crazy trails in Moab. So anyhow, that's what's going on there with all that stuff. Anyhow, I'm gonna get out the live PA sound system rig I put together to throw some open mics all around the country. So let's get that out. So here's the soundboard. It's a little Behringer and on the back, uh, it's actually a 12 volt. So you can put batteries up in this thing. It also is powered with 110 volt, but pretty sweet option to run off grid. We're getting there. So we've got the mixer right here. I'm still gonna get the microphones hooked up to it. Get some stage lighting all around. The speaker's awesome, it's the Bose S1. Um, sounds really good, super portable. It's also battery powered, it'll go six hours. So that's pretty sweet. Should be loud enough for what I'm doing. And I've got the Jackery that's gonna be powering the lights, everything else, the mixer and the Bose don't need any power at all. So I'm hooking up my kick drum suitcase at the moment. Hooking up the mic. So obviously the reason I'm setting this up now is I want to make sure all the bugs are worked out and that the little live music system works here. All right, moment of truth. Got it all hooked up. So two channels going to the Bose S1 right there. And the top channel is the microphone. And this second channel right there runs to the board. And then the board I can put more channels into. So it gets a little bit crazier. Get the stage lighting hooked up. It should be sweet. Um, mixer's all powered up. Looks like I need another microphone stand. This one keeps failing. All that's hooked up. I've got a mic going to the hi-hat. Suitcase drum is mic'd. And the banjo has quarter inch pickup and a DI and all that stuff. It's all being powered by the Jackery down there. So let's see if it works. Let's power up the Jackery. Oh yeah, baby. Fire up our power strip here. I think that's working. Oh yeah, check that out. Stage lighting. Very cool. It'll change different colors and flash and all that stuff too. If this doesn't work, then I don't have to bring all this stuff, so that's the other upside.
Yeah, boy, it totally works. We officially have an open mic setup. It has been tested and it works. And the Jackery's only gone down like one, less than 1% even. It's gone down none. So it's a good sign. Anyway, I'm gonna put all this stuff up and let's go kayaking.